Medina. What? This was originally a uh, Valentine's poem last year, and uh, she broke up with me before our first poetry slam, or my first poetry slam. So I edited it. That's where we're at. Oh, yeah! Final draft. Final draft. My love is gone! I didn't need today to say it. No day can ever surmise the private sign languages our bodies have already spoken to each other alone under the covers of shade. Today isn't the day my lips learn to read the braille of your body, where my hands turn the pages of your soul after I was blinded by your beauty. This is deeper than that. I know deep down inside my heart can't speak, but in these moments of us, it would beat against my chest so hard with words of adoration, it would echo in yours to get out. It's probably why I thought you felt the same. I wanted to put my heart inside you so you could feel these words the way that I do, so we, you would know why I talk this way about you. Before today, hot breath was the dialect of our native tongues. We would visit each other with our eyes wide open, translating clearly the gazes across the couch hearing every glance loudly, like Sunday service, hanging on to every stair for a bit of salvation, finding sanctuary behind every smile, searching for reasons other than sin within, praying this was it. Here in our place on our day, infinity was a sunset on a warm concrete stairway where night and day played hide and seek and summer hours weren't long enough for the confessions of angels sipping on strawberry readers. <laughs> Yet somehow, minutes we shared thereafter couldn't Last an eternity for me, which is the time I have spent daily just waiting to be next to you. I wanted us to play heaven. You'd be Adam, I'd be Eve, so we could try to banish ourselves from Eden. God never said we were made for each other, just of each other. You and I cut out of the same soul, spit into his and her versions of the gospel truth. I know you laugh when I talk like this. It's silly to you, but I have proof. My hand fits neatly underneath your shoulder. My arms are the circumference of your body. My thighs are the exact width of space between your legs. My palms are the only distance traveled around your hips. Every time we kissed, it was for the first time, and I never wanted it to be the last. And my lips are the color of embarrassment now, because I can hear you laughing, and I can't continue saying things like this. Do you remember when we would go to bed and I would wait till we almost fell asleep. And I would invite you on a dream date. So you could always be with me together. This is hard for me now. Not being able to say today what we both know I mean. And truly believe. So I try to rephrase it. Keep it simple. Which we both know I will never do. I would say I love you. But these are just words.